Hi everyone, I am Tanya Lee from Harmonia Tarot. Thank you for being here. This is going to be a collective reading for all signs for this weekend, August 9th through the 11th. This is a general reading. It may not resonate for everyone, but for those it does resonate, please go ahead and comment and let me know how it resonates for you. I like to hear. And you know, hit that like button if you feel guided to, and definitely subscribe if you want to have future notifications. Hit the bell again for those notifications. I've already shuffled and pre-shuffled and meditated. I am in tuned and in line with these cards to do the reading for August 9th through the 11th. <laughs> Had some cats over there make some noise. God knows what they're into. Gotta love my cats. All right. Let's see what messages come out from the universe that we need to hear for this weekend. What guidance do we need? Here we go. Universe, please give us guidance for this weekend. For the collective. What messages need to be told? What clarity do we need? Treasured memories. The perfect key. We have a person who's reflecting here. You know, we are in Lionsgate energy right now. Yeah, we definitely have someone in reflection. We are in Lionsgate energy right now, which is, you know, our heart chakras are open. We've purged a lot. The shift in energy for a lot of people is happening. And I believe that we have a person here who is going back and looking back at past memories is reflecting maybe dreaming but their heart is still a little bit closed off this person is a little bit closed off see how the birds holding the key to me that's spirit that's the universe that's, that's our guides asking us to surrender because they have the key for us. But there's a lot of reflection on here about wanting more. This is touch the sky, 32, it's a five. So there's change in about, there's definitely change coming about. Wanting bigger dreams, but there's See how she's got her hair down like there's gonna, someone going to be climbing it? Almost like Rapunzel. Maybe wishing on a love. We have someone definitely wishing for something. Yeah, this person is definitely in wish mode, reflection. Thinking about past events. Wanting more, definitely wanting more. What messages do you have for us? What messages do you have for us for this weekend? I'm gonna cut the deck. We have King of Earth, Ten of Water, Five of Fire reversed, Ace of Water, Ten of Fire, Nine of Water, Page of Fire, 
six of water reversed. There's definitely a lot of reflection in the past here. Four of air. Three of air. Queen of earth. Five of water reversed. Overall energy of this reading is the hangman. There's a lot of sitting and reflecting going on, just like how it was with the Oracle cards. We have a dreamer here, somebody who is dreaming about the past and maybe heartache. King of Earth. He is an abundant, rich, grounded man. He's got 10 of water right next to him. So there's definitely, there's definitely an energy of a person here who is seeking happiness. But we have five of fire. And this was reversed. We have somebody who wants something more and it's not quite happening yet. But they're going into wanting more, which is we got the ace of water. This is this is definitely an offering of some sort. That's coming. And creating the cycle. Ten of fire. Nine of water is having everything that you you need, but wanting more because you're not quite at the ten. We have somebody who is reflecting on someone. It could be this page of fire. I mean, we have a lot of fire and water here. We have a lot of fire and water here. So, um, you know, we're looking at Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo energy. The page of fire is a very young, fast energy. But I feel like it's something that is also premature. You have six of water right next to it, which is reversed. So somebody's still stuck in the past. Who is reflecting air energy here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Do you see how, I mean, this, 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 this woman almost looks defeated. She looks, yeah, I mean, we got, she is right next to, we have two people who are stuck in the past here. Next to the three of air. Both looking away from each other. But do you see how you got two lovebirds on there? And then there's somebody, there's another bird that is on top of that angel's wing. I do feel like that's spirit. I do feel like that's our guys to let you know that that, to surrender, to let the past go so that you can be more stable, like the Queen of Earth energy. Five of water. Do you see how she's kind of looking up and she's kind of perplexed and she's like, there's gotta be something better for here. I feel like we have a person here who wants something better, who wants more, but is, is, is still stuck in this energy 
of wanting more, of wanting that happiness. I'm going to clarify some of these with a the rider deck. Let's clarify this earth happiness. Somebody, this was reversed. Somebody's looking out for new beginnings, but it's not quite there yet. Is wanting more. <laughs> but the options, this is confusion, is coming, there, there, this, this confusion, this person's coming out of it because you have this page of fire, which you have both. You have two page of fires reversed. So there is a potential for a new start in this, but somebody's hung up on the past. It's like you got one person who's sulking, who, who wants more, and then you have another person who's completely stuck in the past. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Do you see how she's looking a little bit remorse? But she's looking at that pentacle. She knows that she's got something stable here, but she can't get to it yet. She can't, she's not there yet. I mean, you got somebody who is balanced and someone who is not. We have two, this is a relationship to me. We got two people of the same suit, even though they're different cards. Earth, energy, Capricorn, Virgo. Taurus. Wheel of Fortune. Now this was reversed. This is something that is divinely timed to move out of this stagnancy, but there's somebody who's not letting go of the past, who is not quite trusting. There's doubts here. I don't know if it's doubts on the person. I feel like it's doubts that come about because of an old relationship that they're reflecting on. looking back upon, maybe they got hurt and they're not quite opening up their heart yet to this person. I mean, you have Queen of Earth here too, which is, I mean, you got the Queen of Earth twice, but the one that's coming out in the end is, is, is upright. So yeah, you're gonna, there's definitely, the Hermit just popped out, it's reversed but it's coming out. This person is, is coming out, has reflected on the things that have come about. So let's see where we're ending with the energy for the 11th, from the August 9th to the 11th. Three more cards. Chariots, it's reversed. But that's again underneath that Queen of Pentacles. We just have one person here who's ready to move and the other person is not quite there yet. They're just not quite there yet. There's definitely love here. There's that chance for, yep, look, here we go. There's that slow growth, right? Somebody here is maybe focusing not so much on the relationship, but trying to keep grounded, focusing on work. But I think it's more like focusing on like trying to be stable. Do you know how like sometimes people will, um, if something becomes too much and they're not ready to feel their emotions, they try to d distract themselves. I do feel like we have a person here who's doing a lot of distractions and the other person is like, what's going on? Is it starting? Are we doing something about this? And the other person's like, 
I know you're here, but I'm not quite ready to open this, unlock it. But whoever's here is going to slowly come, that was slow, the night is extremely slow, wants to make an offer. They're just not ready to make that offer yet. There's a lot of inner turmoil here. We have a person who's almost exasperated. We have somebody who is doubting. And another person who's doing a lot of juggling and manifesting for a creative, passionate new beginning. Let's see what guidance we can end this reading with um, for this weekend reading with the Healing Whisperer deck. And um, I'm going to pull one romance oracle since this is romance based. Let's see what we have here. How this person is dealing with the. Um, who's this Knight of Pentacles who's coming in. This is definitely, a, this is definitely something that this decision on this relationship because of the earth energy, I do feel like this is a stable relationship. This could be, this has a potential to be a stable relationship. It's just that person is really like this person is really reflecting hard on some of the heartache that they went through, but they want it. They want to be able to offer they want to be able to offer her. But you see how she's like not looking right now? I don't think this is going to be expected. I think it's going to happen when, when you least expect it. And sometimes you just need to drop the focus on the other person and that's when they come in. Honestly, focus on you and making your happiness. Making yourself happy. And it will come. All right, what guidance can we give with the romance for this couple? Just feel a little bit stuck. There's passion here, though. I think there's just a lot of healing going on. Calling your soulmates. Calling your soulmates. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations, visual, visualizations help bring you together. Calling your soulmates. That's that energy that I told you that one person needs to surrender to allow it. To know that it's happening but not necessarily get focused and fixated on it. We're going to pull one more. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So we have somebody who's calling in their soulmate and the other one needs to start making an effort. Which I do believe is going to happen. I do believe that this night is going to make it happen. All right, I'm just gonna end this with the Healing Whisper deck. I'm just gonna pull one. And focus on for healing. What guidance do you have for us, Spirit? For this weekend, for this love, for this relationship. For the parties involved here, what messages do they need to hear? Seek, <laughs> seek seclusion. Look at this root chakra here. Do you see how one woman looks? I think this isn't about seeking seclusion. I think that somebody 
is needing some rest for over. You see, you see what happens? When you call in your soulmate, and when you allow yourself to focus on you, whether it's rest or sleep or just that self-care, do you see who comes in? It's that knight. Do you see how he's gonna come in? Shift the focus to you and your offer will come in. All right, everybody, that's the reading that I have for the week of August 9th through the 11th uh, for all signs. If this resonated for you, please go ahead and comment, let me know, leave a like, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Till next time, have a good weekend.